as Doris is coming down, I want Kim to make herself prepared. Did you grace the runway after this dog? Okay, Kim. All right, Doris is wearing a beautiful wide brim hat. Okay, it is black and it looks like it has gray trim that has rhinestone and silver in it. Very nice, will go with any occasion. And her scarves, accents, that hat. Doris, we just appreciate you so much for coming on back. Give her a hand. Now, one of my good friends, Kim, was still sitting back there, but she worked in the department of hats. I said, Kim, write me some name brand hats. If I don't know them, I'm going to say that they are anyway. So, Kim, come on down. She is wearing an asymmetric cream ivory felt hat with a round, with a very broad band with oysters feathers, and it goes so very well. Give her a hand. It is felt. Okay, it's two levels. All right. Turn up there on one side, down on the other. And her flowers is a design for rhinestone. But it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Okay, that's a part of history. 1998, she was chairperson of Women Day. Linda, is this the first time you've worn it since then? No. <laughs> okay, it held up weight. Are there anyone else I may have omitted? Joyce? Joyce? Oh, now, Joe, you can't put your sister up there without you, Grace. Come on down. Yes, give her a hand. Joyce has a lot to say about everybody. Now, let's say something about Joe. Joyce is wearing her hat. It could be a a uh, western style hat. It has unusual feathers around it. It is a winter hat. And it, even, it just looks gorgeous. It's great. You want to say anything more about it? came to tell me, now, Miss Annette McNeil, will you please stay and come back? Yeah. I asked her, but she said, oh, no, no. But come on down with that hat. Come on down. It's an English style hat. And most English style hats that you see are always turned up on one side. It is a rust, uh, rust brown hat. It is a felt hat. It has a trimming, the same as the bang in. And it has a flower on the side that is a bow. It is most outstanding. Thank you so very much. Okay, who else? Raise your hand. Don't be shy. Miss Williams over there. Miss Mary Williams? You can just stand. Stand, sweetheart. Stand, Mary. Now, just stand where you are. Now I want you to turn around to the audience. She has a deep white arm and she's wearing her arm. Doesn't she look beautiful? Let's wait, wait, look at the hat now. It's not complete without the hair. Now, is that about it? Did I omit anyone? Me? Who's going to speak for me? Me, of course. All right. You know, I'm the one with the least words. But I am wearing a white tall hat by Sean of New York. It is black with satin trim and band and a rhinestone with oyster feathers. So I really appreciate you allowing me this opportunity. Make remarks.
remarks. And our closing remark will be from my pastor, Pastor Fleming. Listen, I have enjoyed this opportunity. Um, I probably made some mistakes, and I'll admit it, but it was a blast, and I enjoyed it. Thank you. so much to my pastor first let me acknowledge him. I thank you all so much for coming and making this evening what it is. I have such good friends. I asked them when they just come. I got to have my friends sustain it because all of them came this evening. All of them came more than the members. But anyway, my, with my friends, please stand and let them see you all. They really do try to do it, and I really, really appreciate you all for that. Thank you all for coming out here this evening and making the show what it was, because it was entertaining, and it was funny, and it was good. I do appreciate you all, and I love you all. Thank you. Oh, I forgot. Our mistress of ceremony is coming out with her and Mother Sharp hat on. She didn't want to see you all to see Boy and Lee. Like it, we see it over in the uh, fellowship hall. Patronize, if you will. Thank you. 